Hi everyone, this is Joseph from Forest Tech Reviews, AKA your favorite Cajun tech review, back with another video. Today's video, I wanna take a deep dive into the taskbar and show you how easy it is to multitask using your Galaxy Z Fold 4. But before I get into this video, check this out. Okay everyone, so I'm back with another video today. Today's video, I wanna take a deep dive into multitasking, but also the taskbar with the Galaxy Z Fold 4. With the Fold 4 and the taskbar, which is a new feature, it makes multitasking so much easier. So I just wanted to show you everyone, show y'all some tricks. Hopefully y'all learned something in this video, but let's get it started. So if y'all don't know what the taskbar is, let me just show you. So you open up Facebook, shout out to the Saints. I think Jameis, uh, I think famous Jameis went off a little bit first game back. But this is Facebook, but down here, you can see I have a little taskbar. So if I wanna go back to uh, Twitter, I can. Facebook, I can, it makes it very easy. And then they also have all these apps that you can have down here too. You can have about seven apps, but you can actually put folders down here too. Now, if you go to your settings, you go into display, you go all the way down the taskbar. If you don't want it, you can turn it off. I don't know why you would turn it off because it really makes multitasking that much easier. But there's a couple down things down here. You can show your recent apps and you can hide with a touch and hold. So if you don't want to see it, you can actually hold on the sides here and it will disappear. Or if you, if you don't want to show recent apps, it will disappear too. I recommend keeping that on. You want both of them on, it makes it a lot easier. But what I mean with multitasking, so say, say I'm in Twitter, right? And I want to do Facebook at the same time. I can just drag it up from the taskbar and get into the two apps I want. Now, if I want to add an app, the taskbar down here have all the apps I want. So say if I want to shop at Walmart real quick, I can just drag it and bam, I'm at Walmart and I have to sign in. I guess I never signed into my Walmart app. If I want to switch it around, I can switch it around with hitting these little three buttons. But again, if I want to say, watch a YouTube video or even YouTube music, if I want YouTube music, I can put this here so I can have YouTube. The great thing about it too though, is if you go into your recent apps, it's there. And also say you have your three favorite apps. If you wanna save it, you hit that little star and you can save it and what it does, it will go down here. So I have it on my taskbar where it will bring up YouTube, Instagram, and and ESPN or I even have one with Facebook ESPN and YouTube so if I click on that you'll see it changes too the taskbar just makes multitasking so much easier I mean it's simple it's really simple now I can even add say if I want to just do a pop-up I can even do a pop-up window and have this pop-up window with Instagram on it too. But that's crazy way of doing it. Let me show you a, another way of getting into multitasking, which you might have to turn this on. Actually, let's go into Twitter. And that's Telegram. Where's my Twitter? So say I'm in Twitter and I wanna do multitasking and I'm watching. So if I swipe to the left, bam. I can put any app on here, or I can drag another one down. I can go to ESPN Fantasy, but you need to have that swipe feature actually turned on. And how you do that, you go into your settings, you want to find advanced features, you wanna go into lab, and down here it says swipe for split screen. You wanna make sure that's turned on. When you get the phone, it's not turned on. Also, you want to make sure you turn on multi-window for all apps. 
because some apps won't do multi-window, so you have to force it to do it. So now again, say if I'm on Twitter and I want to multitask, oops. I want to multitask, bam, I could bring up YouTube. And say Twitter and YouTube is one of my favorites. If I save it, you can do it to your taskbar or your home screen. So if I do it to my home screen, what it will do, as you can tell, now I have this saved as an app. So when I click on it, it comes up. Multitask is made easy. Now again, with the taskbar, if I wanna add Facebook, I can add Facebook here, I can add Facebook there. I can add it wherever I want to. So with the little taskbar, with the multitask, and with this beautiful screen, look at the screen, you can do many things on here. There's so many things. If I wanna watch YouTube, or even if I wanna watch Twitch, say Twitch just comes up, bam. Now, one thing I wanted to show y'all on Twitch, if you're not following Monkey Bread TV, go make sure you follow Monkey Bread TV. He plays PoE, he plays all these other really good green games. We, You might even see uh, your boy Forbes on here playing Fortnite with him, but you can go in there and follow him. Monkey Bread TV on Twitch. Drop him a follow, say Forbes sent you there. I think you really appreciate it. So multitasking is made simple. The other way, just say if you wanna do, the other ways you can get into multitasking is if you click on, if you hold down the button like I just did, you can multitask that way. The other way, if you wanna do multitasking, it's just, I mean, this is nothing new, but say if I click here, I can open in a split screen and I can put Twitter on this side. So just another way of doing multitasking if you wanted to. And then again, with the taskbar, Facebook, how easy is that? Y'all let me know if y'all learn anything. Do y'all do anything different? Like I said, bam, like this, I can watch YouTube and Twitter at the same time. I can add Twitch down at the bottom if I wanted to. It's that simple. If I want to switch it out, bam. Look, even if I want to do this, or if I want to switch it like this, multitasking made easy, y'all. With the taskbar, with the software on here. But y'all let me know if y'all learned something. If you did like the video, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you do so for more coverage on the Galaxy Z Fold 4. Again, also make sure you go drop a follow to Monkey Bread TV on Twitch. I will have his link in the description. Go drop him a follow. It costs you nothing to follow, man. Like I said, he is a gamer. Also make sure you follow me on Twitter at Forza Reviews. Become part of the BAM Nation. Until next time, peace, I'm out. Y'all have a great day.